Hello guys! In this video, I, Gary, and my colleague Vancy will show you how you can remove the Lucky ransomware from an infected PC. Bear in mind that you shouldn't pay the ransom until you try everything you can do to get your files back. So let's start with the first step which is boot the PC into safe mode. Press and hold Windows button then press R. In the field type mcconfig. Click on the boot tab and mark save boot option. Apply and OK. Now restart. After the reboot, the word Safe Mode should appear in the corner of your monitor. Once you start the PC in Safe Mode, locky files and objects are isolated and can be completely removed. After you complete the removal process, go again through the same step and unmark the Save Boot option to start Windows normally. Now Vancy will show you how to continue the removal process of Loki ransomware. Hello, this is Vancy at Sensors Tech Forum. And today on the subject is Loki. Now Loki ransomware is a very nasty virus. And now we're going to show you how to remove it from your computer. Now the first step you can do is take an automatic removal. Uh, you can download a software, an anti-malware software, which will automatically scan for and remove all of the files associated with Loki ransomware. Uh, the second step is the manual removal of Loki, which we're going to show you. But first, we need you to back up your data. Now, Loki has files that have random names, such as this one, which is located usually in the temp folder. Uh, it has a random name, which means that it's different for each machine, and you cannot remove it by searching for it. This is why you're going to need to open it. You're going to need to go to C, Users, the your username, the folder called App Data, which is hidden, and you need to type it in the address bar of your explorer, and then open the folder called Local, after which look for a folder called Temp. And here, you should look for a file that's similar to it. Now, this file here, it's a, it appears, but the file by Loki is going to be usually hidden. This is why you're going to need to open Folder Options. If you type it in the search bar, open it, and then go to View. And check the option Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, after which click on Apply. And you're all set. Now you can see all the hidden files, including this one. And this can allow you to remove it. If you can't remove it in the conventional shift and delete way, we advise you to use uh, file deletion helpers like Delete Doctor, which is absolutely free. It can help you delete this file. Anyways, um, Loki also creates several different uh, registry entries, which uh, may uh, change some settings of your system. This is why you're going to need to open the registry editor. Uh, this can happen by pressing the Windows button plus R and typing reg edit after which pressing enter. This will open the registry editor. On the registry editor go to a key called hkey current user. Then look for a folder called software. Actually, this is a key. Uh, open the key called software, and there, Loki should have created a key, custom key with its own uh, values that are set to modify your settings. You should delete this key right away in case you spot it in this location. And uh, there is also another key that Loki modifies. It's not so important, but you can also remove it because it changes your wallpaper every time. You should go to H key current user, control panel, desktop, and you should look for a value string called wallpaper and simply delete it. And basically that's it. You've cleared the registry entries. Now, if you want to completely clear the registry entries, uh, you need to back them up 
first uh, which means that you need to export them that means opening regedit again and then going on file export and choose a destination we recommend you to export them on a USB drive or any other removable drive like this one for example uh, here we export it on a USB drive simply name it something easy that you can remember and save it this is a very quick procedure it won't take long after you've done that you can now um, renew yeah you can now renew your uh, registry editor everything in it for that you're gonna need to get a software called sub unacl you can download this software uh, we have provided links on the description below and we have also provided you a script which uh, is very useful for renewing your registry editor now first you're gonna need to install this soup software it's uh, basically called Windows Resource Kit Tools. Simply click on Next. It's going to ask you where you're going to save it. So just save it in Program Files and then click on Install Now. After the software has been installed, simply what you need to do is uh, tamper with the script. Now, here is the script. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, we've provided it in the description of the video like I said before and uh, what you need to do is uh, open a new text document on your computer copy the script from our description in the video after which paste it in the notepad document after which you're gonna need to save this document after you paste it by clicking on file save as and then go to save as type click on the drop down menu and choose all files after which name it something easy that you can remember for example we've named it repair and add a dot bat extension repair dot bat and then save it and here's the file basically this file executes this script you're gonna need to copy that file or cut it to the program files location of your Windows Resource Kit for Subun ACL, which we installed previously. Uh, to do that, go to C, Program Files, Windows Resource Kits, Tools. You're gonna need to open the folder and then just paste it there. It doesn't matter, just Control and V that thing and yeah basically after you have done that now you can work with the script uh, to do that you need to open the windows command prompt by pressing windows button and r again and typing cmd be be extremely careful how you open the command prompt because if you don't open it as an administrator it may not work for you so this is why you should open it as an administrator now in it type the following command cd C slash the path to Windows Resource Kits, Windows Resource Kits, Tools, and of course the name. After you've opened Tools, you need to type the name of your script, in this case repair.bat, and then simply press enter. After you do this, it's gonna start going through your registry editor and basically. Um, renewing, replacing, uh, and reverting every setting to default. Uh, and basically what it does is it looks, looks through syntax errors. And we're gonna pause this video, yeah. Here is it. Uh, here you can see that it modified one. So there was one error in this registry. Um, it's gonna modify it, uh, it also for you. And basically that's it for the removal. However, if you want to decrypt the encrypted files by Lucky, um, unfortunately, guys, there is no current method for decryption. However, we have provided some alternatives that you can go around with, with no uh, guarantee, but you can still try and use them to do it. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. We really hope this is useful. Feel free to like and subscribe.